Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about how you can prepare for Diablo 4 Season of the Malignant launching on July 20th. Now, when you make a new character in Season of the Malignant, you are going to be losing everything from the permanent realm we call the Eternal Realm. All of your different gems, your legendaries, your rares, your uniques, every single one of your tabs here are going to be cleaned out. There's going to be nothing in there. In fact, you're probably not even going to have these tabs because you got to go back and repurchase them again, right? And this is basically one of a few things that you're going to be losing. You're going to be losing your aspects, you're going to be losing your codex of power. There's a lot that's going to be lost in the transition from the eternal realm to the seasonal realm. However, in today's video, I want to talk about the things that are going to transition that you're actually going to be able to keep when you move over to the seasonal realm when you make a new character. Now, keep in mind, depending on if you're hardcore, see like this character is hardcore, or if you're softcore, you're going to actually have to stay that way if you want those things to transfer. I know it's a real bummer because I wanted to switch over to softcore because I'm like, man, I'm sick of worrying about dying. But unfortunately, if you your hardcore, your hardcore transferables will only go over to future hardcore characters and the same as for softcore. And this was uh, some of the developers talked about in a recent interview. So if you're a softcore character and you want to change the hardcore, you're not going to keep the things we're going to talk about today. Now, one of the things that's going to transfer over is going to be discovered areas on the map. Now you can see I've got most of the map discovered, you know, these little spots areas I don't have, but it's actually a good idea to go and collect everything that you can find in these different areas because you're also going to be getting not only the world revealed, but you're also going to be getting the renown associated with that. So if we look at this here, that means you're going to be getting the renown rewards associated with discovering the map. You can see here, this is five times 70. So that's something like 350 renown right there, which is going to unlock quite a bit of uh, these renown bonuses. And, and that's going to happen for every single zone. Uh, so you're going to want to right now to prepare for season one, explore every part of the zone so you can get a lot of that renown, but also also, you're going to be able to actually see exactly where these waypoints are going to be uh, so you can go gather those much easier come season of the malignant. Now what else you're going to keep is waypoints. So not all of them, but capital city waypoints. In a recent interview, developers said that we'll be keeping the major city waypoints. So that includes Zarbanzat, Kyovashad, uh, I think Saragar is the capital. So all the capital cities of each of the zones you will be keeping. So I believe that's Gea Kol. So you're going to be keeping those waypoints going into season of the malignant season one however you're not going to get these sort of smaller towns you're not going to get nevask you're not going to get the tree of whispers maybe you will i don't know that's not a capital city so i don't think we're going to be keeping that but keep that in mind you want to have the map revealed so you can go easily get those waypoints as well now one of the most <laughs> sort of tedious tasks in diablo 4 in my opinion is getting these altars of lilith and the developers kind of went back and forth whether or not these were going to transfer from the uh, eternal realm over to the seasonal realm and finally they confirmed for us. We're going to be keeping Altars of Lilith as we go over to the Seasonal Realm. I'm so happy about that. So one thing you're going to want to do to prepare for Season of the Malignant is go out and get all of your Altars of Lilith if you haven't already. And the reason you want to do this is, number one, you're going to be able to keep the Renown associated with it. You can see here, this is 340 Renown for Hawazar. We've got 310 Renown for Kejistan. And again, that's going to actually help you get some of these bonuses, which are really important. You want that skill point, the extra potion capacity, two skill points now, Max Obels and Paragon Points. So you're absolutely going to want to do this Renown, at least have this for the Renown, but also Altars of Lilith themselves actually offer stats like plus two strength for all characters, plus two intelligence and so on. But also there's other bonuses as well. I know some Altars of Lilith increase your Max Obels, etc. So it's definitely worth doing and it adds up, especially when you're trying to unlock nodes on the Paragon board, trying to reach those requirements, right? Or, or even just make your character stronger because there's so many bonuses you get by having extra stats. So those two things are going to be transferring over, or I guess I should, I should say three, the waypoints, the uh, map of sanctuary that you've discovered, and the renown associated with both of those, as well as the altars of Lilith and that renown associated with it. So that is going to transfer for sure. We haven't heard anything about like a rebirth feature. So your character, by the way, is going to stay in the eternal realm. If you are worried, like, is it getting deleted? It's not getting deleted. In fact, you're going to actually have your seasonal characters go over to the eternal realm eventually once the season of malignant ends and the eternal realm is permanent you know assuming you're not playing hardcore your character is going to die etc now the final thing that you can do to prepare of course is to figure out what class and what build you want to play i've got tons of videos on my channel if you want to check out all the different builds for all the different classes or if you're just trying to compare classes and figure out which one is fun i've got that too you can also go to someone else's channel there's tons of builds out there try to figure out which one you like so that you don't choose a character and then halfway through season of the malignant realize this character sucks or this class sucks i hate it or it's not fun 
fun so you know right up front which one you want to play hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to click that like button and subscribe for more Diablo 4 content my name is Toy House and I'll see you in the next video take care